The world is probably a safer place without the Titanoboa lurking around. These 50-foot-long terrifying predators once ruled the world after dinosaurs. They roamed the Earth some 60 million years ago, and many believe them to be extinct. But now, they're nowhere to be found. However, some shocking evidence suggests otherwise. Could these unnerving creatures still be around, hiding somewhere? Could they have somehow managed to evade extinction? Join us as we explore 17 pieces of evidence that suggest that the Titanoboa is still alive. Number 17. The Congo Serpent The discovery of a Congolese serpent before the Titanoboa was discovered in 2009 proved that giant snakes over 40 feet long existed and inhabited Earth prehistorically. Western science knew little about massive reptiles of such size Yet reported sightings and second-hand reports of titanoboa-sized snakes have cropped up sporadically in remote regions of the world since at least the early 20th century. It was 1959 when Colonel Remy Van Leerde arrived at the Democratic Republic of Congo and was deployed to the outpost of Kamina in the country's southeast to support ongoing operations throughout the Katanga region. One of the first pilots to break the sound barrier, he had flown in over 400 missions so his eyes were trained to spot friend and foe below. On one afternoon, he found himself returning from a reconnaissance mission aboard a helicopter, and as the nimble aircraft buzzed low over the extended green canopy, Van Leerde glimpsed movement with his well-trained eyes. He signaled the pilot to double back as an immense snake slowly emerged from the body of water below, rising upright until it revealed its full height. Shocked, he and his co-pilot gaped at this serpentine monster that easily exceeded 50 feet long, its triangle head topping half a meter. This creature is still the largest snake ever documented. The body was covered in dark green and brown scales, whilst its underbelly was white. Colonel Van, amazed by the sight, directed the pilot to turn around for another angle to view this monster and the serpent responded by raising its head to an incredible height of at least 10 feet as if warning off a coming attack. Lierda, recognizing the inherent danger in such a situation, made the quick decision to retreat, directing the pilot to return to base as soon as possible. The colonel, not one to let such an incredible encounter go undocumented, using the resources at his disposal, he expertly used an onboard camera to capture images of this giant serpent, securing evidence of its existence. As an aviation expert, he was good at guessing sizes from height. He believed that it measured 50 feet at least. And if we were to go by his estimate, that length would dwarf the largest scientifically documented snake on the record, 25 feet long, and a 300-pound reticulated python found on Indonesia's island in 1912. What then was this leviathan that Colonel Van Leerde found? Suspecting that his account might not be believed on account of no corroborating proof, he tasked covert operatives around the war-torn country to gather information about this elusive mega-snake. These efforts unearthed a litany of supporting accounts from native testimony, indicating that this event was not an isolated one. Number 16. Titanoboa from Russia There have been reported sightings of living Titanoboa from Russia. These sightings are not just reported in tropical regions, but also the unlikeliest of places. A video surfaced in the Russian city of Samara in 2014, showing an enormous snake crawling down the brick exterior wall of an apartment. The video went viral at the time, with viewers insisting that they had never seen a snake as large as that, claiming that it was larger than all native species. They claimed it must have been some kind of escaped python, with some even suggesting that the snake was a surviving prehistoric monster. The climate of Samara, located on the Volga River, over 1,000 miles northeast of the Caspian Sea, would likely be far too cold for a reptile evolved for the tropics like the Titanoboa. Yet this did little to stem the concern of the public about the snake's huge size. However, upon examining the video, some things did not look right. For instance, how did the residents of the apartment fail to notice an 18-foot-long python crawling past their window? Officials identified the videographer behind the compelling videos, identifying himself as Dimitri, who confessed to having manipulated the video. He is a specialist in 3D rendering and digital manipulations. Dimitri's footage showed just how much the Titanoboa still exists in people's minds, 
and how people are ready to believe the giant snake could turn up alive in unexpected corners of the globe. Number 15. The Titanoboa Discovered The Titanoboa was first discovered in the early 2000s by the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, who, along with students of the University of Florida, recovered 186 fossils of the Titanoboa from La Guajira in northern Colombia. This snake lived after the dinosaurs died out and has sparked a lot of interest. It was discovered and described in 2009 as the Titanoboa cerejonensis, the largest snake ever found. In Ciron, Colombia, the fossils they uncovered revealed a beast that could grow a staggering 42 feet long and weighed over a ton. Based on the structure of its vertebrae, the Titanoboa belongs to the boa family of snakes, which includes modern-day anacondas and boa constrictors. But unlike even the largest anacondas today, reach over five meters long, the Titanoboa was an absolute monster. Its dark coloring likely aided its camouflage abilities, allowing this ambush predator to blend into the shadows. While the Titanoboa existed over 60 million years ago in the Paleocene epoch, well before humans, that does not make imagining an encounter with this giant any less terrifying. The idea that a snake larger than a bus could be lurking somewhere evokes dread, and there have been alleged modern sightings of massive snakes have led some to speculate whether or not the Titanoboa might be alive. Number 14. The Yakumana Probably the greatest biodiversity hotspot on the planet, the Amazon rainforest has inspired many frightening legends. From beasts lurking within its nearly impenetrable foliage, there have been many tales passed down from indigenous people for centuries. Stories of 100-foot-long anaconda relatives they dub the Yakumana, or Black Boa. These Black Boas are capable of toppling whole trees in their trails. These epic snakes featured prominently in local folklore long before Western science conceived of snakes beyond 50 feet long as fantasy in recent decades. Cryptozoologists have cataloged strikingly consistent giant snake observations from remote Amazon villages and pending scientific outposts. Though easy to discuss as imaginary or exaggerations of ordinary wildlife, characteristic details in the reports intrigued open-minded researchers. If the MIPA, considered extinct by so many worldwide, can survive extinction in the isolated jungles, then why can't analogous giant snakes linger on in the Amazon? The mountain gorilla remained unknown to the Western world until 1902, the Komodo dragon until 1912, and even knowledge of the Titanoboa itself remained hidden from the world until 2009. So who is to say that a handful of these giants are not hidden somewhere in some primordial jungle? American cryptid adventurer Mike Warner embarked on a journey along the jungle waterways from Peru to Guyana, and he interviewed locals and recorded testimonies, swearing that enormous dark serpents overtook riverboats and deities in hisses. Researchers note that the climate of the era when the Titanoboa thrived resembles today's Amazon. This remote rainforest could be a final holdout spot from massive snakes. Number 13. Skin from Maine In addition to sightings of live specimens, alleged evidence of Titanoboa has also come in the form of skin casts. A snake skin found on a picturesque riverbank in the northeast United States belongs to an anaconda, the latest twist in the baffling story of Wessie a supposedly enormous snake that has become a local legend in the town of Westbrook, Maine. Sightings of the snake began in June, when a woman filed a report with the Westbrook Police Department claiming to have seen a snake as large as a truck, with a head the size of a basketball. Soon thereafter, a late-shift police officer patrolling near the first sighting saw a large snake eating a mammal, possibly a beaver. And on August 20th, a man walking along the Presumpscot River stumbled across the molted skin of a 12-foot-long snake near the other two sightings. With each sighting, the mystery deepened, and the local community's fascination with its strange new mascot grew. Clothing stores began selling Wessie-themed shirts. One local brewery even made a special edition beer in honor of the snake. As media buzz grew, Westbrook officials sent a sample of the snakeskin off to John Palchik, a biologist at the University of Texas at Tyler, for genetic analysis. Plasik then sequenced the skin's mitochondrial genome and found that it belonged to an anaconda, a shocking find that officials announced on August 30th. 
To refine the ID, Plachik sent along his sequence to Jesus Rivas, an anaconda expert at New Mexico Highlands University, who compared it to a genetic database of anacondas from across South America. In a phone call, Rivas says that the skin belongs to a female green anaconda, Eunectes murinus, that's at least 10 to 12 years old based on the skin's size. The snake's genetic quirks also suggest that its ancestors were most likely from Peru or Bolivia, though the snake probably was bred in the United States. So how did the snake end up in Maine? First, it's still not clear whether the skin's placement was an elaborate hoax meant to stoke Wessy hype. But if Westbrook is legitimately home to a loose anaconda, Lally thinks that it was released into the wild by its owners, perhaps because they could no longer care for it. Number 12. The Cautaba River Monster There have been lots of elusive river monsters with reputations tracing back to both indigenous and early European settler accounts. Among settler accounts, there is one such legendary beast known as the Cautaba River Monster. This legendary beast inhabits the snaking waterway demarcating the border between North and South Carolina, leaving a trail of frightful mystery. The Cautaba River flows some 220 miles from the scenic Appalachian mountain foothills through the growing metropolitan hive of Charlotte before emptying into the man-made Lake Reservoir. Before the dams and irrigation canals tamed the tempest, legends warned that it harbored an evil inhabitant, one fond of dragging its victims into the depths. Oral traditions passed down among native Cautaba people reference many serpents and leeches on the scale of treacherous sea monsters. Petroglyphs etched into riverside boulders even depict outsized snakes and lend possible visual depictions, implying more than imaginary figures. Tales of capsized fishermen and scouting parties disappearing on wild shores depict a colossal river predator unrecorded by history. European frontiersmen and colonists pushing gradually inland likewise brought about stories from eyewitnesses that fed the folklore of an elusive river monster. Number 11. Jormungandr Jormungandr, also known as the Midgard Serpent or World Serpent, is an unfathomably large sea serpent or worm who dwells in the World Sea, encircling the Earth and biting his tail, an example of an Ouroboros. As a result of it surrounding the Earth, it is referred to as the World Serpent. When it releases its tail, Ragnarok, the final battle of the world, will begin. The god of thunder, Thor, has an ongoing feud with the giant snake and he once embarked on an epic quest to confront and kill the gigantic snake. Their mythic struggle is immortalized in early Nordic artworks, including rune stones in the 11th century. These ominous tales most likely served the purpose of dissuading seafarers from exploring the tempestuous Nordic seas. They might also represent ancient confrontations between the early seafaring Norse survivors from the Paleocene epic where snakes grew large enough to dwarf whales, Number 10. The Leviathan Leviathan, in Jewish mythology, is a primordial sea serpent. Its source is in pre-biblical Mesopotamian myth, especially that of the sea monster in the Ugaritic myth of Baal. In the Old Testament, Leviathan appears in Psalms 74, 14 as a multi-headed sea serpent that is killed by God and given as food to the Hebrews in the wilderness. In Isaiah 27, 1. Leviathan is a serpent and a symbol of Israel's enemies, who will be slain by God. In Job 41, it is a sea monster and a symbol of God's power of creation. Today, the Leviathan is considered a mythical beast. However, we must put the Leviathan and its sea monster predecessors in context to the times in which their stories were told. Dating from at least 3500 BC, serpent deities appeared in ancient Mesopotamian stories depicted on clay tablets and other formats. It would be another 3,000 years before the science of marine biology began to take form. Around 350 BC, Aristotle began to write about marine life, such as noting that whales and dolphins were mammals. And even then, people still knew very little about the creatures that lurked beneath the ocean's surface. Certainly, when the Old Testament was written, sometime between 1200 and 165 BC, the world looked very different from the way it does today. To begin, wild animals were far more plentiful than they are now. So, early seafarers likely saw many more whales and other marine life than we see today. In addition, people undoubtedly saw far more dead whales, squids, snakes, octopi, 
and other marine life washed up on shores than we do in modern times. Furthermore, they most likely saw more dinosaur fossils. All of this coupled way with a, a dearth of scientific understanding left much to the imagination. Number 9. Giant Snake Rock Naka Cave itself is reportedly home to several myths and legends, many of them imagined due to a part of the cave that looks strangely like a serpent. There is a specific stone slab that resembles a python's head, while giant rocks with scaly texture look as if they're the snake's coiling body. In Buddhist lore, the giant snake rock takes after the mythological snake called Naga. A Naga is said to be half human and half snake, dwelling in the netherworld and occasionally taking the form of a human. Legend has it that the Mekong River in northeastern Thailand and Laos was created by two Naga kings, slithering in the area that's now part of the Pulanka National Park. If we're to stay faithful to the legends of yore, then just maybe, the snake rock might have been one of the Naga kings resigned to. Another theoretical folklore that attempts to explain the giant snake rock is less cultural but a bit more daring. Some tourists speculate that the giant rock was once a titanoboa, petrified due to volcanic eruptions. A titanoboa, as you might already know, is considered to be the largest snake ever to roam the earth before its extinction. Given the size of the snake rock, this theory isn't hard to imagine. But alas, there is a scientific explanation for everything. According to Fu Lanka National Park officials, the giant snake rock is made up of sun-cracked rocks that are more than 100,000 years old. The sharp temperature differences between day and night cause the rock to expand, contract, and eventually crack. Matched with water erosion, the scale-like pattern of the giant snake rock was eventually formed. According to local legends, a monstrous snake emerged from the surrounding wilderness during a violent volcanic eruption. Number 8. Ogopogo In Canadian folklore, the Ogopogo is a lake monster said to inhabit Okanagan Lake in British Columbia, Canada. Some scholars have charted the entity's development from First Nations folklore and widespread water monster folklore motifs. The Ogopogo now plays a role in the commercial symbolism and media representation of the region. Okanagan Lake is the largest of five interconnected freshwater fjord lakes in the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. Named after the First Nations people who first inhabited the area, it was created when melting glaciers flooded a valley 10,000 years ago. It stretches for 127.1 kilometers, 79.0 miles, and has a maximum depth of 232.3 meters, 762 feet, and an average depth of 75.9 meters, 249 feet. Okanagan has frozen over during eight winters in the last 110 years. The lake monster has been mostly described as being a serpentine creature with smooth, dark skin, a large body thicker than a telephone pole, and being up to 15 meters, 49 feet, in length. The monster is said to move at incredible speeds, coiling its body in vertical undulations and propelling itself with a powerful tail. Susan Allison's 1872 sighting was the first detailed Ogopogo account from a white settler. She was the first non-native person to live in the region, establishing relations with the native peoples. While driving on Highway 97 in 1968, Art Folden noticed something moving in the lake. He pulled off the road and filmed what he claimed to be footage of the alleged creature, showing a large wake moving across the water. Folden estimated that the Ogopogo was 100 meters, 110 yards offshore. A computer analysis of the footage concluded it was a solid, three-dimensional object. Folden noticed something large and lifelike in the distance out on the calm water and pulled out his home movie camera to capture the object. A 2005 investigation conducted by Benjamin Radford with Joe Nickel and John Kirk for the National Geographic Channel TV show Is It Real? utilized surveyor boats to find the actual distance of the alleged creature from the shore. They found that it was much closer to shore than originally thought, resulting in a reduction of actual size and speed. They concluded that it was likely a real animal, but its size had been greatly overestimated and that it was probably a waterfowl, otter, or beaver too far away to be identified. In the 1980s, a local tourism agency offered a cash reward for a proven sighting of the beast. Greenpeace announced that the beast must be filmed and not captured. The Ogopogo was listed as an endangered species, 
Number 7. Fish Eater of Uttarakhand Uttarak, the tropical climate prevailing among much of the Indian subcontinent, closely resembles the hot, humid environment that once homed the Titanoboa, home to about 500 types of snakes. The region's dense jungles teem with serpentine life forms. From the king cobra to the tiny blind snake barely exceeding 4 meters in length. India's snake diversity spans the spectrum, but something strange is happening there. Beneath the soaring Himalayan peaks along India's northern border, a remote village wrestles with an aquatic bounty they relied upon for ages. The river that once provided the people with ample fish daily now returns nothing. Fishermen's returns went from over 100 kilograms to just below 5. Monitoring stations reported a plunging 94% reduction in only a few seasons. This has caused elders to convene to demand explanations, and some dark rumors of the true culprit have begun to emerge. Some Naga elders believe it is a colossal serpent deity from Buddhist and Hindu folklore, known to gorge on entire schools of fish. Mythic accounts described Naga as spanning over 50 feet in length, requiring ritual tribute to temper its divine hunger. What could gorge on an entire school of fish? If primordial snakes like the Titanoboa still exist, then it would make perfect sense that something like it is the one feeding on the fish of these rivers. Number 6. New species of anacondas found. Chief Bai Hua led Fry's team on a 10-day search for the anacondas, which are considered sacred to the tribe. The team took canoes downriver in the Bamino region, where they found several anacondas lurking in the shallows, lying in wait for prey, Fry said. The group then captured several specimens of the species, which they named the Northern Green Anaconda. Researchers in the Amazon have discovered the world's largest snake species, an enormous green anaconda, in Ecuador's rainforest, that split off from its closest relatives 10 million years ago, though they still nearly look identical to this day. A video shared online shows the scale of these 20-foot-long, six, one-meter-long reptiles as one of the researchers, Dutch biologist Freek Vonk, swims alongside a giant 200-kilogram, 441-pound specimen. According to a study published in the open access journal MDPI Diversity, the animal known as the green anaconda, or Eunectes murinus, is two genetically distinct species. This is despite each species looking so similar that even experts can't tell them apart. Genetically, the differences are massive, says Brian Fry, a National Geographic explorer, biologist at the University of Queensland in Australia, and co-author of the new study. Northern and Southern green anacondas have long been considered part of the same species. But based on the snakes Fry's team studied and documented on their trip to an incredibly remote part of the Ecuadorian Amazon, it appears the snakes are two genetically distinct species. They're five and a half percent different, genetically. Now to put that into context, we're about 2% different from chimps, he says. To make the shocking discovery, Fry and his co-authors collected blood and tissue samples from green anacondas in Ecuador, Venezuela, and Brazil, a process documented exclusively by National Geographic for their upcoming Disney Plus series, Pole to Pole with Will Smith. The study authors also examined each animal closely to count scales and look for other physical traits that could signal an evolutionary divergence. While it may seem like splitting hairs to reclassify two populations of snakes that look identical to one another, Fry emphasizes how important such delineations can be for understanding the threats posed to these creatures. Right now, the International Union for Conservation of Nature classifies the green anaconda as a species of least concern when it comes to extinction risk. But this classification is based in part on how widely distributed a species is. According to National Geographic, green anacondas are non-venomous, constricting snakes native to South America, and are members of the boa family. The reptiles are considered the heaviest snakes in the world. On average, they live up to 10 years in the wild. Maybe just maybe this new species of anaconda is just a titanoboa that has not fully grown yet. Number 5. Giant Snakes in Mythology Mythological narratives have long hinted at the existence of gigantic snakes, a concept only corroborated by modern science with the discovery of titanoboa through fossil evidence. This suggests that massive serpents, 
possibly rivaling the size of dinosaurs, once roamed the prehistoric Earth, a notion reflected in the ancient stories of many cultures. These mythologies often feature snake gods of immense size and power, which, despite their symbolic nature, suggest that legends of such mythological serpents could be rooted in the ancestral recollection of Titanoboa, preserved and passed down through oral tradition over thousands of years. Ancient Sumerian texts mention the Mushushu serpent, purportedly over 300 feet long, taking years to move past any point in the landscape. Persian legends talk of Azi Dahaka, a massive king cobra predating mammals, capable of swallowing cows whole with its dark, endless jaws. A legend more closely mirroring Titanoboa comes from Norse mythology, which presents Jormungandr, the Midgard serpent, large enough to encircle the earth and bite its own tail. Legend has it that Thor once attempted to slay this enormous creature during a sea fishing adventure, but was unable to defeat it. This epic battle, along with other tales, might have discouraged maritime voyages across the icy Nordic seas, possibly reflecting ancient Norse encounters with relic Titanoboa-like creatures from the Paleocene era, when snakes could grow as large as whales. The warmer climate of that epoch, especially in the seas between Greenland, Iceland, and Norway, which remained temperate due to the Norwegian current, could have supported marine life upon which a creature like Titanoboa might have preyed. It's speculated that a few of these serpents might have found refuge in the Nordic fjords and coastal areas as the planet cooled, eventually becoming the sea monsters and krakens of folklore, their existence fading from fact to fantasy over time. This blending of myth and reality underscores the profound impact that serpents have had on human imagination and fear since the dawn of time. Titanoboa, in particular, embodies the quintessential unknown threat, a testament to the enduring power of myth to convey lessons about the impermanence of even the mightiest creatures. Number 4. Nabao from Borneo The unveiling of Titanoboa, a colossal prehistoric serpent discovered in 2009 in a Colombian coal mine near Serajon, has fueled both fascination and fear. This enormous creature, dating back over 60 million years to the Paleocene epoch, post-dinosaurs, stretched up to 42 feet in length and weighed more than a ton, based on its unearthed fossilized vertebrae. Titanoboa is a member of the boa family, which encompasses today's anacondas and boa constrictors. However, with its unprecedented size, far surpassing the largest known anacondas of today that reach up to 5 meters, Titanoboa was in a league of its own. Its likely dark coloring would have been perfect for camouflage, enabling it to ambush prey from the shadows of its lush tropical environment. Though Titanoboa roamed the earth well before humans, the mere thought of such a gigantic snake existing undetected today strikes a chord of primal fear. Modern accounts of enormous snakes, including reports from Borneo, prompt speculation about the possibility of Titanoboa's survival into the present. Number 3. The Most Venomous Snake When talking about the most venomous snake globally, thoughts often turn to species such as the King Cobra, Black Mamba, or various rattlesnakes. Indeed, these species are highly venomous, yet they pale in comparison to the inland taipan, alternatively known as the western taipan, or fierce snake. This serpent's venom is approximately 180 times more potent than that of the king cobra, with just a 0.1 ounce dose potent enough to kill 100 humans or 250,000 mice. Despite its lethal potential, the inland taipan is naturally reclusive and prefers solitude, dwelling within the cracks and crevices of central Australia's soil. Its temperament is not inherently aggressive, making human bites rare. As a result, the inland taipan, while extremely venomous, is not considered a significant danger. In contrast, the eastern brown snake poses a greater threat. This species frequently inhabits areas close to human activity and its temperamental nature makes it more likely to strike. Provocation of an eastern brown snake often leads to fatal encounters due to its status as the second most venomous terrestrial snake. Lacking prompt medical treatment, a bite from this snake usually results in death. 
Number 2. Titanoboa at the Park Claims of Titanoboa sightings in unexpected places have stirred excitement in the field of cryptozoology, with one particular video from 2016 catching widespread attention. It showcased a large, snake-like figure moving beneath a pedestrian bridge in Florida's Big Cypress National Preserve. The creature's enormous size, seemingly surpassing any known alligators or invasive Burmese pythons in the Everglades, captivated viewers. Upon its release, experts in Titanoboa lore quickly examined the footage for authenticity, eager to expose another fabrication. Meanwhile, park officials conducted their investigation, estimating the size of the snake from the footage and checking for similar sightings. As the initial excitement waned, they concluded that the park's largest snakes, some being notably large Burmese pythons, did not exceed 16 feet in length a size already observed within the preserve. The episode with the video served as a small-scale reflection of the broader Titanoboa mystique, a cycle of speculation fueled by human imagination, later tempered by factual evidence. Nevertheless, the notion of a 16-foot python capable of consuming adults lurking in Big Cypress is a terrifying prospect in itself. Moreover, the possibility remains that in the depths of the world's remote jungles, a creature as awe-inspiring as Titanoboa might still be waiting to be discovered. Number 1. Origin of the Species Scientists equipped with specialized gear do not always succeed in their attempts to capture a snake, as these creatures can be more elusive or may have relocated to an unforeseen area. Nonetheless, fortune occasionally favors the bold, as was the case for an adventurous individual navigating a river in Brazil. He noticed a lengthy, broad form beneath the water's surface, initially mistaking it for a pipe, only to realize it was in motion. Swiftly, he prepared his camera and began recording. Displaying remarkable bravery, he even reached out to touch the snake, a risk I would personally avoid, considering the potential for the snake to perceive this as an attack and retaliate with a powerful tail strike. Fortuitously, this intrepid explorer not only secured exceptional video evidence, but also experienced the thrill of direct interaction with the snake. Given its substantial size, it's plausible that this could indeed be a sighting of the legendary Titanoboa. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another of our interesting videos.